know who this two shells. So I have these two shells and I need to find what is the uh, electric field in each one of these places. So for example, in the region one, in the first region, the second region, and in the third region. So I'm gonna start with region one and I know that the electric field at this point is equals to the charge enclosed over uh, epsilon naught. What is the charge enclosed in, in uh, the region one? Well, imagine we take a random value. So this one will be our R. I'll show you. We're going to do R like this. What is the charge inside here? Well, it's actually zero. So charge enclosed is zero. Therefore, our electric field is zero. Okay. Then in region two, well, I'm going to take another. Oops. Another radius r and same formula again, of course. Take it and paste it here. What is the charge enclosed this time? Well, we said that the center of the sphere, so the center shell, the inside shell, has a charge positive q. So I'm going to say the charge is q. It can be positive q or negative q, it doesn't matter. You can just put a negative in front, it doesn't change any calculations. Well, I mean, you're just going to have a negative at the end instead of a positive, or a positive instead of a negative. So let's find what is the electric field at this point. Well, the electric field will then be 4 pi r squared over uh, equals to q over epsilon naught. And the electric field then is equals to q over 4 pi epsilon naught times 1 over r squared in the r hat direction because it's a vector okay what about char uh, the region 3 well again the same formula and what is the charge enclosed well the charge enclosed now oops. okay the charge enclosed now is this let's oops, no, that's not what I meant. Okay. now R goes outside here so in between the two of them there is now this positive Q and this negative q. So the charge enclosed will be equal to the sum of the two. So positive q plus negative q, or zero. So again, the electric field in region two will be equal to zero. Okay, so now let's work again on region two. Okay, and now we want to find what is the current that goes through it. Well, the current is equal to the integral of our current volume density over an area. And what is our J? Well, J is equals to our conductivity times the electric field. So there is only a current, because it's given by J, because it's given by E, in the region two. Anything else, the current is equal to zero. There's no current flow. All right, so if we plug in inside our equation right here, we find out that we have the current to be equals to the close there of, well, I find out the E is equal to this part over here. So let's duplicate it, first over here. Now, what is DA? Well, DA actually is, uh, in our case, let me cancel this one, uh, in a area, in spherical coordinates will be R hat, R squared, sine, of the actually there's no r hat but sine theta d theta d phi there we go so as you can see we can solve this r squared with this r squared and we get that this goes outside which is a constant and we integrate the rest so it goes from 0 to 2 pi and then from 0 to sorry from 0 to pi and from 0 to 2 pi so we have sine actually it doesn't matter I we know what we're integrating so we can just do this again so sine theta d theta d phi. Okay. Uh, now I'll write it this way because this this uh, d phi, not d theta. Because this connects to this integral, because of this boundary, well, this connects to this first integral. So we integrate it and we get this part here was the same. So, okay. The four. Okay. And we get a two pi times two. Um, 
yes, 2 pi times 2. And so this is equal, well, we can get rid of all this stuff. And yet yeah, that is equals to, oh, I, yeah, sorry, I forgot to rewrite the omega. So we're gonna have it here, we're gonna have it here again, because it's a constant, so we take it out, we're gonna have it here again. And so in the end, we're gonna have our uh, conductivity times our charge over epsilon naught. Okay, and this is our current. Well, now we can find the voltage from A, from A to B. Imagine that the radius of the inner sphere is A, and the radius of the outer sphere is B. So we go from A to B, of course, negative, and the electric field times the R. So I'll take again the electric field, which is equals to this bar here, where we're talking about uh, the region two. Okay, so integral negative dr. So here we get. Oh, I forgot to write the direction. So it's going to be in the r hat direction. Uh, the current, of course, goes outward. Is from positive to negative. Okay, so here we can integrate the same, and we're going to get this one comes out. This is a constant, and then we get times the negative integral. So, uh, we'll put a negative one here integral of 1 over r squared, actually, r hat as well, r squared dr, which is equal to oh, from a to b. So, we take this again, and here we get 1 over r, and we get a negative. Then we get rid of so that can cancel with this other negative in front. That goes from B to A. Okay. And so we're gonna have this bar over here times one over B minus one over A. Um let me just make sure I think there's a little incident. It should be oh yeah sorry it goes now it goes from it goes from B to A but the voltage is the opposite okay so it's one over A minus one over B there we go. <clears throat> uh, now that we found out what is this R over here, and we know it's equal to the current, so the current is equal to this. We can say that the charge is equal to um, oh, the current is a vector. So the, the current vector times epsilon naught over the uh, continuity. Yes, okay. All right, and, uh, or actually we can find out also that since it's equal to this part over here, so V is equals to this part over here, we can say that the charge is equals to four over here. Okay, V times four pi epsilon naught over this value right here. Okay. And we know that V oops. V is equals to I R. Um <clears throat> therefore if we have this on this side actually you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna take this Q and substitute it inside our current that we have right here. So our current becomes conductivity over epsilon naught times this big blob. 
so we can solve the epsilon. Now the current in terms of the voltage becomes V conductivity 4 pi over this bar over here. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, so if we write like this, we know we know that we're gonna have a v. I'm just gonna write it as v is equals to because we have everything in terms of v is equals to the current, which in this case is equals to this times the resistance. So the resistance will be equals to the voltage divided by the current. So we simplify the voltage and we get the resistance is equals to 1 over A minus 1 over B divided by conductivity times 4 pi. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.